I want to address a day late, the London terror attack. Um, for me, it really hits hard, not because I have any personal connection to the United Kingdom and not because uh, I have any of this, uh, you know, empathy necessarily, even though I do for the people that uh, were hurt in the attack or were murdered. Uh, of course, I, I think it's uh, appropriate to think uh, this could be anybody close to you because it happens here too. And it's happened in a lot of countries all over the world recently and even far earlier than that. So it goes without saying that um, I uh, support all the families and the people that lost their children yesterday and their parents. Uh, but what really is the message that I have is that a lot of the calls for sympathy, a lot of these statements of um, pain that are coming out of the media, out of these politicians, are nothing but the same lies that they've been saying for years and years. They don't really care about the British people. Um, if they did, they wouldn't be forcing them through uh, processes that they don't have any desire to go through. You wouldn't see this contempt for their will last year in the Brexit. And you would see a lot more people putting on these uh, British filters on their profile pics. Not that that really meant anything when they did it for the French. And not that it meant anything when they did it for the Turks or the for the Germans. Because the filter, the Facebook filter is the ultimate, the ultimate statement of the um, reflex with no action. The reflex sympathy with no real change. These people that are claiming that they are praying for the British people, praying for London. They know they don't say the British people. They just say London as if London is nothing to do with the British people. Those are people that, that don't really pray, I believe, ever beyond that. They, a lot of them have contempt for religion. And if you're a British, if you if you're a religious person that's been spreading those messages, uh, pray for London or pray for Paris or anything. Well, maybe your pr prayers should have been a little more sincere, and maybe you should have prayed that we would respect the will of these people, the British people, to be a free and sovereign nation again, to tell the European Union to go away, and to embrace their, their own great culture that they've had for hundreds and hundreds of years. The British people have given us the constitutional democracy, the par parliamentary representation. That's what they gave America. That's what they gave a lot of these countries. All we re re remember them for is colonization. Is that fair? Is that fair? You always for some reason, commemorate John Lennon. You commemorate all these uh, British born and raised uh, stars that gave us the greatest music we had. I, I'll admit too, I, I think Noel Gallagher, I wouldn't think the way I do if I didn't listen to his music. And Richard Ashcroft and Cat Stevens, even Cat Stevens, and you all know the story with Cat Stevens. Um, we have to recognize that the world has turned its back on people's real cultural identity in favor of a scrubbed identity, an identity that's based on nothing but pretending to like things that everybody's supposed to like and being uh, somebody that everybody can get along with. And that's the real message that liberal America and liberal Europe and liberal uh, England is sending to their own people. And I don't think that the British people are really believing that. I don't believe that they're believing the BBC and they're, they're, they're believing CNN or Al Jazeera UK or any of those, those uh, telecasts. They know that the reason that this terror attack happened was because of policies that are made to the detriment of the very people that were hurt in this attack. The British people are the ones that have the right to determine the course of their nation, whether it will be a nation that's steeped in the values of the Magna Carta, the values of Burns, the values of uh, Gladstone even, the, the values of Kingsley Amis, 
or if it's going to be the values of a culture that wants to destroy all those things. And do you think that the European Union, do you think that the liberal media ever had any respect for that? No, they didn't. All they want to do is watch people basically melt their identity down into uh, gold ingots that they can use to commercialize their opinions and force them on people that have no interest in them. And I think that from now on, people just have to remember that those that say pray for Britain or pray for London, they're really just saying that they don't care that somebody's praying on London. That's it for today. Uh, I support you and rule Britannia.